the mysterious sea. Below its churning surface, the drama of the aquatic world plays out. Along the west coast, it's a scene worthy of a horror movie as the ocean floor has been taken over by an underwater bully, purple sea urchins. They're urchins have overpopulated and they're creating these barrens, these undersea areas where they pretty much consumed everything along the bottom. One theory is that because of warming oceans, starfish, the natural predators of purple urchins, have died off. As a result, unchecked urchins have wiped out kelp beds, leaving barren sea floors. Even without food, they continue to spread. For the most part, they are uh, relatively starved and empty, and so they have no commercial value. The Dega Bay Marine Laboratory researcher Carl Menard is hoping to stop the spread of purple urchins by making them delicious. This is our uh, purple urchin ranching facility. Inside the marine lab, you see an even larger purple urchin. Menard tends a purple urchin farm. Well, these here are specially designed raceways. We have six of them. Wasting, starving urchins are collected from the ocean by divers and brought here. So this is a purple urchin that's just been brought in from the field. And this will give you an idea of just how empty they are when they come in from the barren. Menard is experimenting with feeding these rescued urchins a steady diet of a special kelp-based pellet. And you can see that this urchin has in fact grabbed onto one of the pellets. The experiment is aimed at showing the pellets can fatten up the urchins' insides, what's known in the culinary world as uni. So right now I'm uh, dissecting a purple urchin. You can already see the uni, the mango-colored gonad there, is starting to develop. The hope is that by creating a market for the uni of these fattened up urchins, it will give commercial divers an incentive to gather them in mass, reducing their numbers in the sea, giving the kelp a chance to recover. What we hope to do is prove that this ranching is a viable option. There's already a market for red urchin uni, but maybe now the taste of purple uni will inspire the public to take up this ecological issue one spoonful at a time. Joe Rosado Jr. Ready to eat. NBC Bay Area News.